Hello everybody, I am Dr. Chitendra Pandey and today in this lecture we are going to discuss iOS security. If you have an iPhone 3GS or later, an iPod Torch 3rd generation or later or any iPad, you can protect the content of your device using encryption. That means that if someone gets physical access to your device, they will also need your passcode to decrypt what is stored on it including contacts, instant messages or text, call logs and email. In fact, most modern Apple devices encrypt their contents by default with various levels of protection. But to protect against someone obtaining your data by physically stealing your device, you need to tie that encryption to a passphrase or code that only you know. Now let us discuss the procedure on how to do this. If your device is running on iOS 4 to iOS 7, open the general settings and choose passcode. Follow the prompts to create a passcode. And if your device is running on iOS 8 to iOS 11, open the setting app, tap touch ID and passcode. Follow the prompts to create a passcode. If your device is running on iOS 8, disable simple passcode to create a code that is stronger and longer than 4 digits. With the release of iOS 9, Apple defaulted to a 6 digit passcode. If you choose a passcode that's all numeric, you will get a numeric keypad when you need to unlock your phone which may be easier than typing a set of letters and symbols on a tiny virtual keyboard. However, we suggest choosing a passcode that's alphanumeric and longer than six characters because it's simply harder to crack even if Apple's hardware is designed to slow down passcode cracking tools. To customize your passcode, select passcode options and custom alphanumeric code. If you want to customize an existing passcode, select change passcode and then passcode options. You should also set the require passcode option to immediately so that your device isn't unlocked when you are not using it. Once you have set a passcode, Scroll down to the bottom of the passcode setting page. You should see a message that says data protection is enabled. This means that the device encryption is now tied to your passcode and that most data on phone will need that code to unlock it. Here are some other iOS features you should think about using if you are dealing with private data iTunes has an option to backup your device onto your computer. iTunes doesn't encrypt your backups by default. If you choose the encrypt backup option on the summary tab of your device in iTunes, iTunes will backup more confidential information such as Wi-Fi passwords and email passwords but will encrypt it all before saving it onto your computer. Be sure to keep the password you use here safe. Restoring from backups is a rare event, but extra painful if you cannot remember the password to unlock the backup in an emergency. If you backup to Apple's iCloud, you should use a long passphrase to protect the data and keep that passphrase safe. While Apple encrypts most data in its backups, it may be possible for the company to obtain access for law enforcement purposes since Apple also controls the keys used for iCloud encryption. If you turn on data protection as described above, you will also be able to delete your data on your device securely and quickly. In the touch ID and passcode setting, you can set your device to erase all its data after 10 failed passcode attempts. 
if you do this be sure your phone is backed up in case someone purposefully enters your passcode incorrectly according to apple's old law enforcement guide apple can extract certain categories of active data from passcode locked ios devices specifically the user generated active files on an ios device that are contained in apple's native apps and for which the data is not encrypted using the passcode like user generated active files can be extracted and provided to law enforcement on external media apple can perform this data extraction process on ios devices running ios 4 or more recent versions of ios please note that only categories of user generated active files that can be provided to law enforcement pursuant to a valid search warrant are sms photos videos contacts audio recordings and call history apple cannot provide email calendar entries or any third party app data the above information applies only to ios devices running versions of ios prior to 8.0 now apple states that for all devices running ios 8.0 and later versions apple is unable to perform an ios device data extraction as the data typically sought by law enforcement is encrypted and apple does not possesses the encryption key remember that while apple will be unable to extract data directly off a phone if the device is set to sync with icloud or backup to a computer much of the same data will indeed be accessible to law enforcement under most circumstances ios encryption is only effective when a device has been fully powered down or freshly rebooted without being unlocked some attackers might be able to take valuable data from your device memory when it's turned on they might even be able to take the data when it has just been turned off keep this in mind and if possible try to make sure your device is powered off or rebooted and not unlocked if you believe it's likely to be seized or stolen if you are concerned about your device getting stolen or lost you can also set up your apple device so that it can be erased remotely using the find my iphone feature note that this will allow apple to remotely request the location of your device at any time you should balance the benefit of deleting data if you lose control of your device with the risk of revealing your own position in this lecture we had discussed about securing ios operating system on your apple devices i hope these tips were useful for you thank you very much